Yo, what's up guys? Blake Wilkie here and we're at the Wilkie Works headquarters slash fab shop where we basically brew up a ton of ideas and make them come to life with the group effort of Dirty Paws on the daily. You can see behind me we have an array of toys. We got the future build of the TT Bug. We have the Hammerhead. We have a donor for a death boat ski. We got the 40 foot race trailer, the flatbed and just a bunch of customers' projects. There's a lot going on here, but there, we make magic in this small place that we can find in the hot spot of off-road here in San Diego, El Cajon to be specific. Check out the Hammerhead though. You might have seen this in the Hoonigan Build and Battle series. Me and my boy Kevin built this basically in 15 days. It has a sick roll cage. It has a lot of parts that you can find at 4WP, such as the rigid headlights, a method wheels, king shocks, rough country steering, the Rubicon long arm kit, PRP seats, rugged radios. I mean, the list goes on and on with this Jeep. That made it super easy to make quick progress on that build and battle series. It whooped on Michael Cox's butt in that series. Luckily, we got to take her home and, and keep her for, for many years of fun. She's been beaded on since then very heavily. And as you can see, there are some battle wounds. Uh, mirrors hanging off dense dings it's that's part of the game that's what we build them for all right well uh, moving on here we have a cut grind chop lathe mill dirty workspace over in this area we got a bronco that we're putting a new lid on tb metalworks timmy boy this is his his few stalls and then my stall in my area over here is shared with my boy kevin and also garrett this is the slug shark we just raced the mint 400 with the slug shark a lot of parts that you can find on this bug are also you can find at World Parks, such as the whip, lights, seats, all that good stuff, shocks, mob armor mount for my GPS, you know, even your phone mounts and whatnot. So a lot of little knickknacks on this thing that were purchased at World Parks. We have a CNC plasma table. This is a right table. We decked it all out with full shreddy wrap and whatnot. We've cut a lot of material, as you can see. So we're always blasting out whatever we can get our hands on for future projects. So here's another little project I got on my hands, this Smitty built winch. I need to put this on my trailer for in case if there's any of those uh-oh moments. It'll be adaptable to the Jeep and both of my trailers. So wherever I go, this thing is gonna hopefully not be needed to save the day, but if it does need to be, it will. Kevin and Garrett, they got some really cool things going on over here. Yeah, this thing, these two trucks are gonna be badass trucks, man. But that's a little bit of a look at the, at the shop. I mean, we got a decent amount of square footage here. You can see there's always something going on that's interesting, intriguing, or relatable, whether it's boats, Jeeps, buggies, trucks, you name it. This shop isn't afraid to take any of that on. Whatever the fun is, we're into it. What is up? Welcome to the Shreddy Shack. Come on in. Little entry welcoming room right here. As you walk through, you can see some of our shredders. This is what we call the wall of shred. These are all people that have helped us grow and that rep the brand and live shreddy life to the full fashion. This is the showroom. We're building some new displays. This is where people can come and check out all of our apparel. Our full line, men's, women's, kids, flags, underwear, socks, that whole nine. This is our inventory of uh, shirts, hats, sale items, underwear, stickers, boxers, socks, beanies, you name it, like casual wear shorts. So here's the death boat. Some of you guys might have seen her on Havasu Assault. This 10 foot jet stream adventure boat has been through some wild stuff. Especially when it's towed behind the shark, Megalodon. This is um, the high horsepower car that you've seen probably in the sand dunes or at local venues with like Sandsports Super Show, Off-Road Expo, thrashing, making a whole bunch of noise. Daniel's doing a little shoot right now. As you can see, and we're just coming on in, my bad dude. Supercharged LS motor, this thing gets it. It's a very unique, one-of-a-kind vehicle, and we always push her to the limits. Unfortunately, she's a little dirty, so bear with me. We take and we use and we abuse our equipment to the fullest. A lot of these parts on the rig can be found at Foral Parts, such as the rigid lights, PRP seats, buggy whip, 
Rockford Fosgate system, rugged radios. Moving on back into the shack, we got the Village Idiot three-wheeler, the 450 dirt bike, the 2020 Razor XP Pro Ultimate. This thing's always got tunes flowing and good times on many different adventures with all the friends and fans. And this thing is just so capable of everything and anything. Also has a lot of parts you can find that portable parts, such as long travel kit stuff, roll cage stuff, seats, harness. Again, with PRP, rugged radios, Rockford Fosgate, bolt-on stuff, fire extinguishers, rigid lights. There's just a lot that's on there. Figure it out. You might find something you need, that's for sure. This is our warehouse manager, Haley. She's killing it. She's shipping everything out right now, getting all your orders out quick. When those that are showing some love, try to make it happen every day. Sometimes we do some custom pieces here press on custom patches for with suits, headwear, uh, branding, all that good stuff. This mini pipe has bitten a lot of people. It always seems like a good idea until it turns into a bad idea. And that's happened quite a few times. Personally, guilty. <laughs> now we're rolling up into Aaron's office. He's my partner with Shreddy. He crushes it on designs and is the backbone of Shreddy. This is where the magic happens behind the scenes. What's up, dude? Killing it, killing it. This is a new lineup that we're gonna be dropping this summer that Aaron came up with. Sticker room, another office where we print out shipping labels and print stickers and cut vinyl. Uh, this is kind of a loft. We are gonna put turf up here, grass and turf. And uh, this will be, this is just kind of like the upper deck hangout, but that's pretty much the Shreddy Shack. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go uh, go enjoy this in and out.